So, hi everyone. My name is Vinayak and you are watching me on my channel Tarot Stock. And this video is about the next 72 hours of energies, actions, feelings between you and your person concerned. So the left hand side is going to be your person and right hand side is going to be you. What can be the feelings of your person and feelings of you in the coming 72 hours? You need not to pick as this is a general collective message and you will watch this video when it is meant for you to watch. You might be watching it after one week of publishing, three weeks of publishing or even months of publishing. But yes, if you are here, then this is exactly for you. So, the very first card that comes up from for their side is uh, action. Now, your person can be feeling or the energies from their side can be seen to be progressive in action, in motion. There is excitement, there is flow. Because the energies that were, or or maybe uh, we can say that they would at least give a thought about the situation between you and themselves, even if they do not take any active action towards you, at least they would think about it. They would give it a thought and that energies would at least begin to move in your direction. And as you can see, the, the two of them are definitely moving in the direction of your pile. Which says that the next 72 hours is going to be the energies flowing from your person's side to your side. They will think about you. They'll think about the progress that they can make towards you. The action and the steps that they can take towards you. Now, the second card that comes for, for their side is Happy Family. Now, the happy family card in here shows that this person would be thinking about the goodness or would be at least remembering about the goodness and the good things that you might have thought as a couple or the dreams that you might have seen as a couple of having a happy, settled, secure family, a secure relationship, if not even general children involved, at least having a committed, settled life enjoying your life as a couple as a family they would be giving these things a little bit short of uh, thought they would at least realize that yes these were the things that we used to imagine and that we used to think about which they were just neglecting so the things that they were neglecting from quite a while seem to be getting back and coming into the consideration which is absolutely a good part for you. As the next card that follows them, which was the overall energy of the deck, is the woman holding a coin. So the woman holding a coin and the action are facing each other. So maybe here we can say that now they feel that, okay, now at least I am in a position that I can think about this. At least I'm in a position that I can I can at least think about even if I am not able to do anything at this point of time. So even this shortest thought is also letting the energies flow between you and your person. They're thinking about you, they are thinking about the dreams that you saw with each other and they're thinking that now they're prepared to take some good action. So in some people's case, there can be a good action, a serious concrete action coming. And in some people's case, it might just be that their person would be thinking about doing it and would eventually do in the future as well. With these cards in here. 
now if you look at your energies and your feelings then what can it be so you get the first card as uh, the temple path so the temple path in here is about that you as an individual you as a part of a couple part of a relationship or one part one side of the couple you will be continuously moving and thriving towards that one uh, enterprise of yours towards that one goal of yours towards that sacred path that you have uh, chosen for yourself that is being dedicated to to the person to the relationship concerned and then eventually reaching that goal so you would be continuing as you are your person was not uh, giving it a thought but in the next minute was they might even give they might even think about it and you are continuing to be you are continuing to put in the good efforts you are continuing to put in the good energies as you should now the second card that comes up for you is the door to spirit so the door to spirit is opening some channels some gateways of energies for you so that goodness can come in freedom can come in light can come in and the love and the blessings can come in so the action that is that has been taken from there is giving a flow into your life of an blessing of a spirit of feelings of abundance now the third card that you get in your place is the angel of love which is the overall energy of this reading now this angel of love is about that you would be taking good care of yourself of your heart of your relationship and you would be very much dedicated focused upon the goodness and maintaining the goodness as it is without having any harsh feelings any bad vibes or anything you'd be continually doing the efforts as you are and taking good care of your heart as well so that when this person comes to you you can definitely give away your heart to them so the angel of love brings the balance brings the balance of feelings and emotions so the so if you were out of sync of your emotions and feeling overwhelmed feeling too much caught up in the things then the angel of love brings the balance of love and feelings emotions into the picture it is you would feel bit more relaxed more comfortable and this is what the tarot cards would also say as you have the four of swords from the tarot so the four of swords in here is that there is a sense of relaxation there is a sense of not worrying about what is happening you are good where you are and you will focus upon where you are at this point of time irrespective of what is happening what is not happening you seem to be having rest and comfort for yourself so the next 24 74 uh, so two hours is going to be rest care for yourself as you know good things are coming as you know love is coming and as you know you are making the right step you will be having rest and you will be having not much tension on your part and the card that the tarot that comes up for them is the queen of swords and the queen of swords is about being practical being analytical being serious and mature enough to look at a situation and a scenario at a deeper intellectual level so not being very childish not being very um, superficial but yes communicating clearly what they want to say so action is clubbed with the queen of swords so for some people it can be a period of communication happening so the queen of swords tell the the person who be thinking analytically and practically about this entire situation rather than being too idealistic about it they would they would live on the grounds and live on the present life and think upon and think about the things that are in their between you too so this seems to be the overall 72 hours next 72 hours between you and your person and this was the timeless reading that you should be knowing about so if you did enjoy watching through then do remember to like the video 
subscribe if you haven't already done so that you can stay in touch with more such videos and live streams of mine and yes i'll meet you in the next video till then take care of yourself stay safe thank you